Today, I'm going to show you how to install a Garmin AIS 800 on your boat. Hi, I'm Ron. And I'm Marie. Ten years ago, we bought a broken down trawler for $4,000. And nothing worked, not even the kitchen sink. After a lot of hard work and help from our friends and family, we moved aboard Elixir full time. And now we are cruising this old boat while the work and fun continues. So subscribe and give us a like and come along with us cruising this old boat. Now the first thing you need to do is determine where you're going to mount the AIS 800 you want to mount this as high up on your boat as possible to get the clearest signal um, unless you're using a separate uh, GPS antenna uh, in which case you can mount this wherever you want to you're constrained by basically two things aside from the normal you know I got to get to electricity somewhere but the two things that really constrain you is this guy for one and I don't know how well he shows up in the uh, the camera as far as his length, but he's about three foot. Now this is the cable that goes from your AIS to the VHF antenna in on your VHF radio. Remember, you've got to have a VHF antenna to use the antenna off of one of your VHF radios. And to still have VHF radio, this goes from the AIS to the VHF radio. So that's about three foot. You're gonna to have to mount it within three foot of your radio unless you do one of two things. You either get a dedicated VHF antenna for your AIS, that's one option. And then you just run that uh, to your AIS and you don't have to worry about this cable at all. Um, the other option is to make a longer one of these or buy a longer one of these. Either of those two are options uh, that you can do. I don't have that option at the moment. I'm anchored out in the middle of the, the water. Uh, I've looked. There's nowhere around to buy these cables. There's no around, nowhere around to buy the parts to make one of these cables. Um, so I'm installing mine within three foot of my, my radio. So that's one consideration. So the first thing we're going to do is hook this up to um, my radio and see how far I've got. So here's our antenna cable. So you can see we need to be somewhere around here. We're not going very much further. Um, the second consideration is that you want your AIS unit to be at least eight inches from any power wires. Um, So this area here looks pretty good. It's pretty blank. I do have these two wires just hanging there. Uh, they're loose so I can tie them out of the way. So I think if I mount the AIS right about here, I should be pretty good. Next, we want to hook up the power cord and uh, got a whole bunch of wires coming off this thing. But most of these wires are if you're using Nimia, what was that? 180s, I don't know, the old stuff. <laughs> I have Nimia 2000 on my boat. So the only two wires I have to hook up is the power wires, the red for hot, black for ground, and I'm done. So first you just plug this onto the top of your AIS in the red jack. It's a red plug, goes in the red jack, makes it nice and easy. It's got a slot so you can't put it in the wrong way. Put that in and then we're gonna run this over to our power.
Now that we've got the power hooked up, let's go ahead and hook up that uh, cable running from the AIS to the VHF radio. And then let's reroute the VHF antenna cable from where it was plugged into the radio down to the AIS. Next, you want to find somewhere to tap into your Nimia 2000 backbone. Garmin provides both a T to tap into the backbone as well as a pretty lengthy cable to get from the backbone to the AIS. Luckily, I've got a backbone right here underneath my uh, console so I don't have to go far. I'll hook the cable up to it. And then route the cable over to AIS. <clears throat> and then we're just going to plug the NIMIA cable into the appropriate jack. All right, that's got everything hooked up. It's pretty simple. There's only four cables, your VHF antenna in, your VHF antenna out, your power in, and your Nimia 2000. So it should work at this point. Let's test it out and find out. All right, as you can see by these little green triangles, our AIS is up and working. Those are vessels. All of them appear to be docked. That one is the Christina B. It's a pleasure craft. Let's go out to the ocean, see if we can find one that's actually underway. Okay, so we know that that vessel is underway. It's reporting with a high accuracy. Tells us its speed, which is 19.7 knots. That's pretty nice. Which direction it's heading. So, pretty nice. We now have AIS. Thanks for watching.